Flashback. Dials a number on his phone. See, can you come over, P please? Who was he talking to? End of flashback. Hinata, see, can you come over, P please? Tenkin, what happened? Are you okay? Just hurry, P please. Can I hung up the phone? Hinata's POV. In real life. Ah. Uh, OMG, what happened? He hurried to gather his shoes, jacket, and phone. Thirty minutes later, Hinata arrived at Kenma's in Toiko. When I arrived at Kenma's, the door was wide open. Inside I saw him on the floor, sobbing like someone died. I haven't seen him like that since, his ex. I know what this is about now, Kenma. Kenma's POV. I, I can't breath, it hurts too much, H help me P please. I see a orange blur, it's Hinata. End of POVs. Now, breath. Inhale 1, 2, 3, and exhale 1, 2, 3, do over again in 1, 2, 3, out 1, 2, 3. Kenma starts breathing normally. Hinata and Kenma move to Kenma's room to talk about what happened. Now explain for me please. Kenma explains everything. Ken Ken it's okay, I'm sure you two will make up. He said that he was done this time, starts crying again. Hinata. Comforts him out. Much as he could, Kenma fell asleep and sleeps for the rest of the night. Kenma didn't show how much he loved Kreya, but the truth was that he couldn't live without him. Kenma is now seriously depressed and was trying everything to get Kreya back. Two weeks after what happened, I'm sorry, I skipped, but I'm lazy. Kenma was in the empty classroom crying to himself, head on his knees. Why? Why do I ruin everything? Here's crying coming from inside the classroom, goes inside. Hey are you okay in here? Looks around, hello? Just she go away. POV. I heard a small voice in the corner of the room. I turned and almost cried seeing him like that. Who is it? Find out next time. The end. Three, two, one. <laughs>